installing the Tesla app right there. Yeah, we're live. My steering wheel is warm and cozy, but the car is not. Although we're heating it. The heater is on the max level. Seats are heated. Windows open. Range is dropping down. <laughs> Can they hear us? Yeah. Did they write, write down that they hear us? Can, can somebody confirm you can hear us? It would be great because I think yeah, it's yeah, a little yeah, yeah, windy yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Okay, right? that's Life good. <laughs> that's good. Are there some guys from German Twitter? I think so. Please say hello. <laughs> like no one is saying hello in the chat actually. About 50 people are on the live stream. Vergesst nicht, dass ihr bei Instagram streamt. Ach, kant bitte. We hear you. Hello, Sespa. Ah, you have to turn the phone. He meant you have to turn the phone. Not to landscape, but to... Uh... No, but I want landscape. Okay. For the recording. Five minutes left. Just logging into the Tesla app. Is now 50 so feet. right now. Yeah, okay, we'll <laughs> we can put the windows up again. Because otherwise we'll arrive and Johannes will be freeze to an iceberg. Uh, exactly. Oh now the heat is coming, nice. Good. Okay, we'll turn so, it down a bit. That's really smart. I have to go to the climate control. Down, uh, I have to. Uh, the air pressure. Oh, did we turn that up? Yeah, it's it's max. Nice. So let's fix my account for this. Back to CarPlay. Should you hold your camera? Four yeah. minutes. You can choose a credit card or SEPA to pay for the charge. So enter your credit card so we can. Right start. So four more minutes. Such a pity. This is so exciting. It's a pity that the ID3 still doesn't know that the Dutch have a new limit in daytime. Yeah, yeah. So it always increases its speed up to. That's our exit. Okay. No, it didn't. Oh, yes. Why is it confusing? Why is this. That's on the right lane the exit. Why is this such a. such a long exit? One point six kilometers, three minutes to go. Starts raining, but that's no problem. We it's no problem, problem at all. So we're off the motorway. Just one traffic light to go. Yeah. One kilometer. Wow. Finally. Haha. <laughs> I updated my billing address. 
So you got the app ready? I think so. Trying to become a member. Okay, it's another traffic light. I'm wrong, I'm Yeah, sorry. that's typical Tesla, so... There's a disadvantage. Seems I cannot become a member with my bank account, so fetching my credit card instead. Somebody okay. could have done it in advance. <laughs> we don't want to blame you. No, I want the full experience. For the first time, it's all over the house. That's true. Yeah, I actually thought that uh, it's a clever thing that Tesla said you have to use the Tesla app, but. Hello, Christoph, you just joined. Who joined? Christoph from Belgium. Oh, Sweet. good to see you. Oh wow, there's other chargers. Wow, crazy. So the superchargers are at the front of all? Yeah, they're always on. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there's also one in, in Berlin near Van der Vogt. And we had, the, I think it was the worst dinner I ever had in a hotel. Was it this Van der Vogt? Don't know who's cooking there. <laughs> Trying to become a member doesn't seem to work. Android app. Look at that supercharger! We wow! We arrived. We would be ready to charge. But it seems. The right Tesla next to a Tesla Model 3. Yeah. It seems the Tesla app is not so easy. Is it? No, the Tesla app is not. Uh, well, you continue on the app and I'll check if I yeah. parked right to reach the bit of the cable. So, let's give it a try. Oh, that's interesting. Have a look here. Gain Tesla, download the Tesla app on the Wow, that was fast. Yeah, yeah, they did put stickers on here for the non Tesla drivers. That's interesting. Yeah, it will also be interesting what they are going to do in Germany because we have a thing called Eichrecht. And it's. I think it's not legal to do it in that way because there must also be an option to charge without a registration which is not possible here, if they open the charges. Maybe they declare them as non-public, we'll see. We'll see whether they will open it in Germany or not, because this is just a pilot project here in the Netherlands. Start membership. I yes. just became a member. You became a member? Oh, yes. So now we can finally plug it in. Yes. What is the start? Okay. This is... It's a, it stands here. 3A. 3A. I first have to plug it in, I think, and then... So... You first have to plug it in, yeah. Yeah, plug it film in. it. Film plug it. it. The first Volkswagen ID3 connected to a supercharger. You are live on air. Isn't that <laughs> super, um, super amazing? Connecting. Huh? Oh, we it's clicking! Click. 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 It's charging! Woo. It's charging! Have a look inside! But it's charging with 180 kilometers per hour. And seven, wow! Now it went back to minutes. Wow! So we're getting. But it should be full, full speed. speed. Is, is that full speed? Full speed is 15. Okay. 15 kilometers per minute. We're getting over 100 kilowatts. Wow! Over 100. Our ID3 unfortunately does not display the kilowatts, but Felix app does. This is easy notify. This is so amazing. The battery is still pretty cold. I would expect it to ramp up a little. So we can say 
we have charged the first Volkswagen ID3 at a Tesla supercharger. Wow. And it worked. It's it so worked. Amazing. Officially, it's the officially first Volkswagen ID3 at a, With a, German at a Tesla supercharger. Right back from Glasgow uh -huh. from the cop. This is so amazing. And it's guys. working. And it's cheap, huh? I signed up for 13 euros and now we're paying 24 cents per kilowatt hour. That is. Yeah, the cheapest charging in the Netherlands at a fast charger available. Because if you sign up for Fastnet, which has way more locations, uh, the, the tariff changes to 35 cents. But the membership is one euro cheap. But yeah, the amount of locations is yeah. really interesting. So, one year uh, with the, the yeah. again? Still getting a hundred five. Woohoo! So still one hundred and five. So as you can see, is this a problematic situation? Nice one. It doesn't so feel like it to me, but obviously people will say that we are blocking that Tesla stall so, but the thing is that yeah other other cars yeah if we don't park next to the Tesla it wouldn't be an issue if another vehicle comes that has for example front charging but because we park next to the Tesla we are blocking the stall so this is interesting to know try to oh, move okay. away from other vehicles Are blocking the stuff. Didn't see that, but you're right. May become an issue, but it's 107 kilowatts. Then for some vehicles, way too short to reach the charging point. Yeah. For example, if you have uh, the charger right here on this side but this charger is blocked and you have to use this one it's impossible to reach it yeah so the blocking situation is real you have to try and not park next to another vehicle because then as long as many other non-teslas visit there will be stalls for everybody but if a lot of teslas visit and you're the only non-tesla then it's easy to block a stall but over here you can see that if we would have used the very first stall this should be non-tesla preferred because then you could park it on this side and we wouldn't have blocked anybody meanwhile am i still connected we're getting 110 kilowatts It's a bit uh, rainy, so there were some drops on my screen. So yeah, fast charging in Tilburg at the supercharger. As you can see, even though we are blocking a stall, what are we talking about? There are 10 stalls free. 10 stalls free. I haven't been at a single Ionity charger in my <laughs> life with 10 stalls. There, it is really hard to find a Fastnet station with more than 10 stalls. And there are still 10 stalls available. So yeah, I mean, you can't find a problem. But as I said, if we would have used the very first one at the end, we wouldn't have blocked anybody. So this is super easy to change. And if, you know, if the lineup here becomes full and we are the last one blocking the last Tesla incoming of course we would change to that stall so yeah it's really easy to uh, to fix this problem if there is any but the biggest thing to realize is these stations are huge they're already preparing four more stalls 
So if it gets busy here, Tesla will immediately put them there anyway. Look, we were here with two Teslas and now because he left, we are not necessarily blocking a stall anymore as long as there comes another ID3 over here. Live from Tilburg. Let's see what the speed is doing. I think this is our the, our record speed for now has been 112 kilowatts. The battery is warming up, so that helps. So yeah, we we didn't arrive with a super empty battery, so we could have done higher speed if we would have even less state of charge. I'm pretty sure that the Tesla charger would have delivered it. What a great success! Uh huh. The Model S. Huh, so this Model S is blocking too because he's not charging at all. So, yeah, this problem is really small, people. You're right, Felix, well spotted. Interesting, we're still going up in charging rate. It is now 113 kilowatts, even above 34%. That is surprising. Charging. Three hundred amps is what we're getting. Maybe if you tuned in later. There is this sticker here. That's a good question, if Ionity will reply, for example with a monthly, monthly cancelable membership. Will the e-tron use the Tesla supercharger? Please, use it. Yeah, he's gonna use it. Yeah, yeah, use it. I hope he will, but I don't know. No, he wants to slow charge. I want him to fast charge because then we can see how fast it goes. Yes, absolutely. It's cheap. It's, it's fucking cheap. It is goedkoper. It is goedkoper than daar laat. So fast charging here now at the Tesla charger when you become a member is way cheaper than using the AC charger that he wants to use. So if you bring your Audi e-tron here and you don't mind spending another 20 minutes, then you better become a Tesla member. I hope the sound is back, Nander. I replugged my microphone. Still getting 104 kilowatt. What is that? So, what am I doing? so yeah, the Tesla supercharger is cheaper than an AC charger if you become a member. No, I don't think I can start a second charge. He has a phone call. Because and he is not able to charge that way. Yeah, but he has a phone call right now. Because the Tesla app, uh, it only lets me stop the session. I don't think I can start a new one. Uh. But I, I wonder. Somebody on Twitter told me it would be decent to just go from the other side here to not block a stall. Yeah. But I'm asking you, how on earth? Walking through this. 
would you like to drive the car <laughs> over there with this cable? Because it's impossible. <laughs> Not totally I'm impossible. Very sorry about that. Guys, These I cables are so short. What's the charging speed right now? We are charging at 100 kilowatts. Still, that's nice. Als je, als je lid wordt, is het goedkoper dan AC laat. Echt waar? 24 cent voor 13 in de maand. Oké, okay, maar dat wil ik wel. Want, Meteen doen. Ik kan het nu doen. Je kan het nu doen. Ik heb nu alle tijd. Je moet de Tesla app. He's gonna is gonna download the Tesla app and try this because I told him that it's cheaper than AC charging to rock the supercharger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what world we live in! Elon Musk, the most hysterical figure that has ever run around the earth. The e-tron is gonna do it. And I mean, the thing is, technically, he could use the first stall and he wouldn't block anybody. But who are we blocking? There is nobody here. It won't suddenly be 10 Teslas here coming from nowhere. Yeah. And if that happens, you just unplug and you move this Audi to the first stall. Nobody has a problem. This problem is fake. Look at this station. This is the biggest fast charging, fast charging station I have ever visited. As a normal person not driving a Tesla, this is unbelievable. You have to understand this. The luxury of all these chargers. We just got this Audi to sign up for the Tesla program. We already convinced one guy here today. We could be Tesla employees walking around this parking lot telling people that it's cheaper to use the supercharger than the AC charging next door. He's downloading the Tesla app right now. Gonna test the Audi e-tron people. Oh yes. <laughs> what a day. Oh, I'm out of reach. It would be fun to test, but I, I heard from people with the Ionic 5 that it, uh, it wasn't that impressive, but I guess I will ask Hugo to try this when he gets back to the Netherlands, now that I'm a member. Still 90 kilowatt speed. He's signing up for Tesla right now. Audi e-tron getting ready for the first time to charge up at Tesla. The Tesla app is really simple. But becoming a member only seems to be possible with credit card. I tried with my bank account, that didn't work. Tesla owners get the preferred rate just by having a Tesla. The price that I'm paying with the membership is the same as a Tesla driver pays without any membership. 
Model 3 driving away, another stall available. People, this blocking thing, look at this blocking issue. Who are we blocking? There's nobody. It won't suddenly be a charging party here, even though I want it to be. Yeah, you have to have a Dutch account, so you can just sign up for a new account and you state the Netherlands as your account country and then you can use it, but only in the Netherlands. Because the beta is only here. I'm just, I'm just for the electric. We drive this ID free. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. We have been to Glasgow for the club conference. Okay, then I have to go to London. Yeah. Still 88 kilowatts at 53, 54%. That's crazy. That's really decent. Yeah. No issue. And it's cold and windy and wet. I'm really curious about the e-truck. Yeah, the e-tron will be... It's a 55? Yeah. Fuck! That's, that's perfect. That's so perfect. It's an e-tron 55. So we're just amazing. trying setting I'm up so another app. It has a 55. Yeah. I'm curious how much it will get. Yeah. Let's hope that... Uh, that Let's see what percentage is still yeah. in the car there. Oh, I can make an account for it. Yeah. I'm still signing up. I don't know how long we've been charging here, but I think just above maybe 15 minutes. We, they could already drive to Germany easily, but uh, I will sponsor this this session with my first uh, membership. So what's the speed now? Still 85 kilo. At which percentage? 57. As expected. 175 kilometers to help. 169 it says here. Ah, okay. Uh, Did you ask something? Yes, absolutely. No, you're, you're not there. No. Yes. So where are we going to drop you off? The Tilburg train uh, station? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Still streaming? Yeah. Because I think we, <laughs> as charging completes, we should be in the car and we can drop you off and then I think we'll go to Hilden and grab one of these hilarious pizzas. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can, I want to do it. Yeah. I just turn over. No, I have to choose, I think, new lit water Yeah. Okay. He's just signing up.
still seven. Seventy-four kilowatts above sixty percent, and this e-tron fifty-five will charge up soon.